Good morning. Hey guys. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh -uh. I'm sorry, y'all. My voice. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Do I feel this guy? I hope y'all are blessing well. Okay. Let's see. Oh, somebody about to get a lot of money. That's a lot of money you about to get. I mean, it's a lot. It seems like it's coming from a person, though. Why do I feel like that? Like, with no strings attached or nothing. Somebody's been preparing something for you. I feel like, my dad, God prepared a table before you in the presence of your enemies. But it's like, it's like my daddy made your enemies do the hard labor. What I said, I my dad, these folk bringing all the tools in, the table, setting up everything. And then told them, oh, okay, yeah, you can't even stay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hill of the ages, deceit in the reverse. Yeah, somebody was being deceiving. This energy cannot be around you. Somebody thought they were going to sneak their snake self onto your uh, path, being deceptive here. The sun could be a Leo. This, this person been trying real hard. I'm telling you, like, they, it's something that you have that this person really, really wants, and they can't have it. Happy family. They can't have it. Whatever this is that God has for you, it's for you and you only. It's not for them. They cannot even see. Like, this, this person can't even see the party. <laughs> like, these folks, <laughs> they done help with the decorations, and they can't even see how things done turned out. Our angel Raphael is here. Oh my gosh, this is funny. The garden and the gate. Like I said, these folks thought that they were so close. They they thought they were gonna sit down and eat with you. Shoot, these people right here was even gonna try to not invite you to your own party or something. <laughs> Our angel Metatron child. Uh-uh. Appreciation. Man, look, I'm trying to tell you. These folks got some nerve. And somebody also got the audacity, like somebody gonna try to speak up and they're gonna get chunked off. Like you're gonna shut this person up once and for all. Financial constraints reverse, action, and you got strategy. Yeah, it's a, it's some kind of strategy that the father has. God has a strategy for your enemies, period. We what I said. Journey, broken heart. Yeah, they're gonna be broken heart. They're gonna be like, oh, so we did all this work for what? And who you gonna be mad at and who you gonna do what to? <laughs> Who you gonna be mad at? Who you gonna take your frustration out on? These folks think they were playing with you. God played them. What I said, they got played by my dad. These folks got played. They really thought that they were going to, somebody thought that they were going to benefit off of your blessings. Not victories in the reverse. Not. That's not what's going to happen. Somebody literally got played. I feel like it's a group of these people. They got played big time. Somebody also going to have to show. They, they got to show proof of something. They got to show how they got something or, or how something got some kind of way. They It seemed like they thought that the best way to show proof of something was to not have to show anything at all. I heard no face, no case. They were trying to get rid of you so that they would not have to prove something. So it's like they didn't, they didn't want to. Like, okay, so... These people was doing a lot of work to take something from you, right? And it was just easier to get rid of you, to make it, you know, just all disappear. But it wasn't going to go down like that. It was just easier to get rid of you, deep knowing. Like, these people know. They know what's up already. A lot of this is your family here. A lot of these people feel so bad. They want to come in and mend something with you because they're realizing, like, oh, dang, that person really was loyal to me. They were loyal to me, and I was an idiot to them. Or something like that, fam, masculine. Yeah, something is over. And they can't think of no kind of way to get out of this. April 14th is significant, brother. When I tell you they can't get out of this, they cannot. I feel like they should not have gotten themselves involved in this. Trouble is easy to get into, hard as hell to get out of. Always remember that. Trouble is very easy to get into, but it's very hard to get out of trouble. Especially when you're at fault. Like, it's, it's like somebody, they took information and they ran with it literally like they did too much here and now somebody named laura laura croft tomb raider is significant it's a new life here and these people are not invited period wow somebody got played i guess what i'm feeling like they got played 
They thought that they literally were going to have you out stranded. They thought God was going to leave you stranded from something. Yen, the fates, observer, reverse. Like I said, they can't even see it. Like, they, they can't even see it. <laughs> Like, these, these folks, I'm telling you, like, I don't know why I'm seeing people, like, coming in and out with tables, chairs, uh, decorations, like, all kind of stuff. Like, preparing something. And it's like God used your enemies to do all of the footwork for you. Like, you had to do nothing but show up. Like, what I said. Oh, my God. Like, you've been getting dressed the whole time. Like, these folks, like, oh, well, we're that person that we got rid of them. Oh, yeah, we won. We won. And the whole time you were getting dressed, getting ready for this celebration or something that they had to put together for you and they are not even invited. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is crazy. When I say my daddy's showing out, he's showing out. What's here? Y'all, excuse my voice. I'm so sorry. Yeah, community. They, they tried to make a mess, a mockery of you. Somebody was also, I heard, trying to unwind. Like, they had did so much. This person thought that they could lay back and relax. <laughs> nah, bro. They thought they were going to lay back and relax and kick their feet up and just, you know, after they caused all of this bull crap in your life, they thought that they were literally going to just live good afterwards or something. This is crazy. <laughs> it's like, it's like the expectation on the other niggas is funny. And that's the truth of it. It's funny how they thought that they were just going to kick their feet up and relax like they really were justified in something. Oh my goodness. Come to the edge. Time for a nap in the reverse. These folks can't sleep. Somebody tossing and turning and they sleep or they can't sleep at all. They're having a very, very hard time getting rest. There is no rest for the wicked. None. I heard X marks the spot. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Yeah, like I said, these folks are going to be so shocked. Somebody thought God abandoned you. Like, oh, that God don't love that person. They don't have no favor with him. Look at them. They are they this, they that, the other. I keep hearing addict, A-D-D-I-C-T. These people are the addicts. They're addicted to spell work. They're addicted to stealing. They're addicted to drugs, sex, money, and whatever else. They're the ones with the damn addictions and the attachments. It's not you. And even if you did have addictions or anything, this is your past. Somebody was trying to use that against you. You can't use that against someone who's not fighting it. Like, what are you talking about? This is this person's past. They've already, like, whoever you are, you have already put this demon to rest. This spirit of addiction is already, you already beat the spirit of addiction, period. So, it's like what they're doing is for no reason. They were definitely trying to use that against you. It's all right. Oh, trust me. Don't worry about it, fam. I see these people have failed for temptation and you're still winning. They really feel bad. Like somebody feels so stupid. They like, oh, so you mean to tell me all that work that we did, it was to get something ready for them? Yeah, exactly. You're exactly right. You are exactly right. You can't touch nothing. You cannot touch anything. These people cannot see the final result of your party or whatever this is. Like you could literally be having a party. It's like birthday today. Happy birthday. You dig a rich kill? Wow, these are some losers. And this is mostly your family too. I'm picking up on family um, energy. I was gonna say family issues. It's a family dynamic here. And even if this is not your family, this is a family of fucking losers here, period. I don't care who they are. This is a whole family who thought that they were going to torment and taunt you or something. And they thought that you were gonna get left out of your own blessing. That's not what's going to happen. Sacrifice reverse, fertility reverse, balance reverse. You're dealing with a Libra here. There's definitely a Libra who swears that they're this, that, and the other, and they're none of the fucking above. I keep saying that. Just because you're a fucking Libra don't mean you're an empress, bitch. Okay, here, for sure. This bitch is not no empress. This nigga ain't no emperor or anything like that. They're not shit. That's all I'm saying. Rejoice the celebration. You got spiritual strength reversing and suffering and silence. These people are so weak. They're everything, every tactic that they have is weak as fuck. It's just weak. They're weak. And they're getting weaker by the day, weaker by the moment. As I'm shuffling these cards, these people are getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And they keep getting bad news. They keep getting bad news. Somebody tried to send spell work at you, your children, and everything. That shit has backfired onto these people. So this don't seem like, this seems like somebody family who got a problem with you. But they ain't going to make it known that they got a problem. And, in, in, and even if they did have a problem with you and they made the shit known, they still doing shit and they're not justified, period. There's no justification here. They will not be getting any kind of um, 
results that they're expecting is what I want to say. Wish fulfillment, you're still moving on. Somebody could have been born in 1998 or 89. These people that got so many people to turn against you and all these people feel foolish. All of them feel dumb. But let me tell you why they working so hard. They're working so hard to make you look a certain way because they don't want to be looked at as a liar or they just want you to be guilty of something that you're just not. You are not guilty of something. It's something that somebody keeps constantly trying to prove that you're guilty of and you're just not. The waiting game reverse. Yep, it's about that time. Somebody's going to get their ass shut the fuck up and shut down. And from there on, this person is going to feel like a fool. I heard the word archibration uh, or whatever it's called. I, I don't know. A-R-T-R-I-B-U-T-I-O-N. Okay. Whatever that could mean. Spirit showed me how you uh, spell it. Trapped in fear, reverse, base chakra. I don't feel like you're scared of these people at all. I feel like these people are afraid of you. That's why they're teaming up in the background doing shit. They did all, they, I'm seeing people literally scattering. Like, it's like they're rushing to get something done, but they don't even know that uh, all the movement that they're making is setting something up for you to win. It's not for them. They're not going to be able to participate in this at all. It is so funny. They are not going to participate in this. It's not for them. They're not invited or anything like that. They really thought God was going to leave you out. That's the dub. Patience and planning. They thought God was going to leave you out of something. That's just point blank, period. You've been literally sitting here manifesting. And it's not like you've been using divination or anything like that to manifest. I feel like you're just a good person inside and out. And it's just time for you to receive your blessings. I mean, you've always been blessed, but... It's a specific blessing that you're about to receive and very quick. This is going to happen very fast. It could be a partnership too. Somebody do not see something coming and it's your victory. It's like they just knew. They knew that they were going to defeat you and they can't beat you. That's what I'm saying. My thing is why? Why the fuck did they go so hard doing this? Somebody has no reason. Like, they, they have no... They are not justified. They are not. I don't give a fuck. They, they don't have no justification here. They are not justified with this. Love begins. This, is, this may be why their punishment is so bad. My dad wasn't finna let nobody come through this bitch and... Like, no, nah, that's the truth, Earl. My dad was not finna let nobody play with you like this. Like, somebody literally been sitting in the background manipulating shit in your life, and they were doing it in the dark. They were operating in the dark. Like, it could literally be in the dark. Like, having all the lights off, doing rituals and things like that. All of this, and most of this stuff be starting with y'all from lies. People be lying on y'all. People don't tell the full truth or the truth at all. So... Like I said, it's so much easier to blame someone else, right? It is so easy to blame somebody else for something that you're responsible for. Just simply so it can make you feel better on the inside. Because that's truly what we vibrate from, right? The inside of our body. That's why I keep telling y'all to stay in your body. These people can't live in their bodies. Because the shit that they've done, these people are, are just, they cowards, they're criminals. They're witches, warlocks, they're evil, they're demonic. Everything about their soul is just evil, it's dark. And then they had to come bring that shit to you or try to bring it towards you. Like, oh, let me go and shed some of this darkness on them. Let me spread some darkness in their life. Let me go and steal, you know, um, their joy or something like that, man, please. Shit wicked. This is so wicked. Oh, trust me, these folks going to jail. <laughs> Don't worry about that. These folks going to get their ass handed to them. They're expecting to go to jail in fact. Like, they're expecting to be in bad health. They're expecting to go to jail. They're expecting to lose everything. They know this is coming already. There's some kind of change. They already know it. They, they know there's change. Did I say that? Bad health? Wow. They should have left you alone. It's like, you are one... Like, you can do whatever you want to whomever, but... When they came at you with this shit, this is when they fucked up. You're a, a official person. Excuse me. You're an official person. They were not going to do this. And like I said, somebody going to jail. This is where they will reside. In jail. These folks going to pass away in jail. Message of concern. Yeah. Somebody getting a warrant. 
somebody getting a message of concern that they got a warrant. Somebody also lied. Like, they lied to their family. They lied on this privileged lady. Somebody lied on you, Divine Feminine. Yep. And from there, they start stealing. They had a bunch of thugs and whatever the fuck or whatever these folks think they are. You know, um, they had these people coming up against you all from a lie. 1515. 15, lying on you, literally. Something was not the full truth. Something was not the truth at all. It's something about something not being true at all or it's not the full truth of something. And these fools and they damn family members got together and thought that they, just because they came together, that they were going to be able to defeat you or something. These people are foolish as fuck. Now they're in despair. I can't make this up. Look, coughing. They were trying to put you in an early grave. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Bitch, you will not be the reason why this person goes anywhere. It won't be you. This person can't even take themselves out. You're not strong enough to do it. Trust me. Just trust that. You, this person is immortal. I keep saying that over and over. These same stank bitches and niggas. These same stank dick bitches. And these stank dick bitches and these niggas and whatever the fuck. Stank pussy hoes. Or whatever the case is. Y'all folk really need to get your hygiene together or something like that right there. You need to worry about your motherfucking self right here. Because what I'm picking up on, you are very far away from the Father. You have a spiritual stench that lets me know that you are definitely not of the Most High child lovers. It could be something to do with a child. These people are very foolish. Mature woman, this old dumb bitch right here. This old hoe right here, I'm sick of this bitch. So fam, this might be this masculine family attacking you. Or so they thought that they were attacking you, getting together. You know, and planning something. They were trying to get you arrested or killed or something. I told y'all be careful about these people coming down your way. I'm telling you, wealthy or not, I don't give a damn who they are. Be careful. Because, um, yeah, somebody's trying to make sure that you're in poverty. They're trying to make sure that you get stuck with somebody, you know, um, that's just going to literally mistreat you. I mean, whoever this person is, they're they're coming in to really fuck your life up. Like, they, they don't give a fuck about you at all. And it's like they specialize in not giving a damn or so. That's why they're sending this person to you. You don't deserve nobody like that. You don't deserve nobody that's going to put their hands on you or even miss talk, like talk to you messed up. You don't deserve that. But these people feel like you do. But they're the ones under judgment. I'm sick and tired of this bitch in this dress. I'm tired of this. These same people keep coming up. And you still got unexpected income. And then tell me why the fuck these hoes and niggas thought that they were going to sue you. <laughs> these folks thought they were going to get some kind of money off of you. They feel like you owe them money for something. Somebody lied on you. Just period. They lied. These people, it's a family of these idiots that took somebody's word for something. This person lied about something. They, they completely blamed you for something. And from there, these people, um, family, you know, started attacking you. But like I feel, these people, this was inevitable. This was going to happen anyway. These people were sent to you to try to do this shit just so that you can dismantle their ass. Period. You're dismantling these people on your own. And you're not even doing anything. It's the fact that your, your energetic field is, is uh, annihilating them is what I'm hearing. Like, it's your energy protects you. Yeah. So this cloak of energetic protection that you have, that the Lord, the Most High God provided you with, equipped you with, that he handmade for you, these people can't fight it. And they came up against the wrong person. Like, this is, like these people are really going to regret, like, look like, damn, I shouldn't have never messed with that person. And you are so gifted. A real high priestess do not reveal everything that they know. I want to say that too. These people think because you're not running your mouth about a certain thing that you don't know that it's them doing something or you don't know something. You know exactly what's going on. You're not stupid. But this is why your official sudden will and always somebody concerned about you because you are indeed the GOAT. 321 332211. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's, it's going down. It's going the fuck down here. Somebody do not know who they came up against. And they're definitely going to be sick about this. They should have left you alone. And they started with your house. Like somebody was trying to get you put out your house. Or they were playing around your home or something. <laughs> somebody named Ricky or Rick. Rikisha or something like that. 
Yeah, this somebody family. I don't even feel like this your family. I feel like this is somebody else's family. I feel like somebody lied on a divine feminine. Like they lied on you. And then the whole entire family started ganging up on you. Like this karmic bitch lied on you. Claiming that you tried to fight her or something, right? And she went and got her fishy mama, her fishy grandma, and her fishy ass sister and friends. And all of these fishy bitches started, you know, um, these bubble guppies started trying to come at you or something like that in the background. Oh, these hoes never step to you foot. Like they never, they never step foot to you and they never will. They're, they're fucking cowards. But, um, due to this raggedy stank dick nigga here, this dripping HIV having ass nigga here. They did all of this, this, this IV ass nigga right here. This nigga who always got an IV hooked up to his sick ass. This married, this bitch is married to this nigga and she lied on you claiming that you tried to fight her and her raggedy family literally start teaming up doing spell work and all kind of shit to you. Literally. It's much disrespect for whoever the fuck this is or whoever you are. I don't respect you or your family at all. Y'all folks are losers to me. But that's why you're sitting over there looking exactly like this and this feminine is over here basking in the ambiance of abundance, honey. Being gifted, even more beautiful than fucking ever. Just got a bread together and everything, ho, and you're always thinking about this feminine. This bitch literally went and lied, claiming that you threatened her life. This bitch threatened herself. She literally sent the message to herself, threatening herself, claiming that you sent it or something. She made a fake fucking page. Look, I'm telling you, she's false. Either way, and it don't got to be that, but somebody lied, period. That's why you got sudden wealth, give home, all of that. This is for you. But um, it don't matter what the lie was about. It was a fucking lie. This bitch right here is just, they were trying to keep the fact that this this child ain't really this man's child or something. Girl, you did all this shit over this raggedy nigga? Oh, hell no. Bro, when I say this nigga so goddamn raggedy, this girl did all this shit over this nigga. Like, girl, please. And it's like she got mad when you did not want nothing to do with this person or something. Yeah. When you stopped, when you completely stopped exchanging energy with this person. This is when it seems like this person started attacking you heavier. They started sending even more attacks at you when you completely ended something with this man or this woman. It's because they, they were mad because they weren't able to um, steal energy from you. So they started trying to steal it in another way. But that shit is dead. It's over. Let's get one more card. Yeah, this is an obsessive karmic, period. They're obsessive and they're haunted. Legal issues. Wow. These people are going to end up in jail and all kind of crap. They're going to end up in jail for this. This person is not ever going to be idolized, respected, or adored, admired by anybody. Yeah, and they're mad, crying. I'm telling you, these people are really going to regret this. Look, creativity muncher. This, this person is crying because you still have a jackpot. This is not no boss. This this man keeps watching you. Like this man, this woman, whoever these people are, they keep watching. Somebody is literally crying tears. And I feel like it's because of their karma. We, like they have to pay karma. Their karma is so bad, it's crazy. And it's like all of these folks got karma to pay. All of them. It ain't no one over the other. All of you, whoever was attacking you is going to pay for it. They thought that they were going to swiftly come in and steal your blessings or something, huh? I heard the power of the tongue. Yep. They talked that shit on themselves. They were claiming that you were going to be nothing, nobody, go nowhere, blah, 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 blah. All they bullshit fuck. Claiming that you were going to be broke, and it's them. This, these people are broke. These people are sick. These motherfuckers are the ones going through the same shit. They try to speak on your life. And they had the nerve to try to speak this shit on your kids. What I said. What I said, they had the nerve to try to speak this shit on your motherfucking children. Child, hell no. Girl, your children are messengers. These bitches got real low IQ. Your children are chosen. They keep ignoring that part of it. They, they are jealous because they may have had some karmic children. Okay, bitch, I feel like you need to teach your kids the best way that you can. That's how I feel about it. It ain't nothing you can do with a karmic bloodline. The only thing you can do is break curses. That's all you can do. But this person ain't strong enough to do it. Or their kids won't be either or something. So it's like they, they just going to keep being a tyrant. I mean, fine, but you're not this feminine. You'll never emulate this person. You're not them. But yeah, the whole try to switch uh, destiny with you. They want your gifts. 
they tried to switch fate with you, with your kids and everything. They tried to swap uh, destinies with their kids and yours. Girl, what in the fuck are you talking about? This is so strange. Yeah, because you're a leader. You have a gift to be able to lead many people. And you're leading them to the Father, not to hell. This person will lead people to hell. Girl, bye. Bye-bye, bubblegum. Bye-bye, butterfly. <laughs> It's something about butterflies. Somebody got a lot of butterfly sets. We don't know. Mother and daughter. They're they're pissed off because you and your daughter is like a daughter, a mother-daughter duo or something. Like you and your daughter is beautiful. People can't even tell which one is the mother or the daughter or something like that. Or this is how you and your mom is. Like your mom looks really young. And people could never tell. Like they always hated your relationship with your mom or something. Or people don't like um, how you are your daughter. I feel like that's your fucking child. Raise your kids how you want to. I feel like your your children have a brighter future than this bitch and hers. Look, plotting and scheming is part of their lifestyle and hobby. Fake witches hating you know, on you. These some fake witches. These some bitches that done went and got a damn uh, uh, recipe off of Google <laughs> and went in the kitchen and tried to start whipping up a spell. A musty bitch is leeching on your energy. I can't tell you these things. I keep telling you, bro. These are some stank bitches and niggas. I'm telling you, bro. These people, hygiene. You mean to tell me it's some stanking hoes that's trying to take you out? Oh, hell no. They are being punished for this. This is crazy. I knew it. Like, when I be smelling this bitch, this hoe is so, like, this is a nasty bitch. It's like, this. it seems like this person has lost something. Maybe they're home because it's like, bro, even when I was homeless, I didn't have no stench to me. Even it was days where I couldn't even get to a shower and I had no stench, bitch. First of all, I carried deodorant and shit, but whatever. A bitch, I, you not going to just smell me, bitch. Like, hell no. Nah. I don't give a damn, bro. I don't give a fuck. How are you stink like this? And this bitch is still stink. Like, I've been reading this energy for a damn near a year. And it's like the bitch keeps leeching onto your energy. But like I said, it's this person in their family, right? Or um, either way it goes, somebody lied. They lied. Dad, can I get a quick message about what they lied about? Because I, I, I feel like they lied on this family about something. And the family ganged up on this family. What was this lie about? Yeah, the Eight of Cups. They 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 wanted you to walk away from something, but they lied. They lied on you. This is a lie. Yeah, this bitch right here, I'm telling you. They lied. Something from the past, they lied on you. Lovers, Ace of Wands, they were lying. Somebody literally lied on you, and that's the truth, and you're getting justice for it. They lied. What did they lie about? They lied on this, uh, they lied about this man. I'm telling you. They, or they lied on you to make you walk away from this man or to make them walk away from you. 28, 28, I don't know. But it got something to do with this person. You don't even want this king of cups. Like, you you don't want shit to do with them. They ten of swords, you three of swords, and every, look, all this spell work, five of swords. This is spell work, I don't care. Five of swords, magician with the um, three of cups. That's spell work. All day, all night. That's spell work, period. But it's backfired, okay? I'm going to leave it here. Remember that guy lives inside a while. Bye, you guys.